What's happening, everyone? I'm back again. Oh, God, yeah. I've been here. I've been here. I've been everywhere. I'm hopeless. I've been teaching myself as well, I did. I've been doing this. I've been doing that. <clears throat> that's all the excuses in the sun, and that's all I got. Anyway, I videoed this earlier. I've edited it. I've put it together. Enjoy, and fingers crossed, we'll be back in the game, and we're ready to rock again. Uh, before I go into the message that I'm leaving you regarding what I'm up to next, uh, we've got um, we got more recipes, we've got more cooking coming because we've just hooked up with a brand. Can't tell you anything yet, but it'll be coming very soon. It will be coming soon because I'm learning how to edit, do my editing a little bit, but I'll get used to it. Uh, and there's a few more little treats as well. Life is good. Happy days. Hope you're all well. Uh, and check out this message and fingers crossed I'll catch up with you next week after what's happening. Chop it out. This Friday, Backyard Ultra up in North Wales, 4.1 miles. Um, you have to complete the 4.1 miles within the hour, every hour. Now the whole object of the race is, or the event, is the last man standing wins. So. And the last one that got done, somebody did it in 81 hours, book the world record, 81 hours, 357 miles. I won't be doing that. But I'm going to try and get off the bat. The most I've done before is 75 miles. So I'm gonna do this back in order and hopefully get. I've been training quite a lot. For all those who've been following me on Instagram, you've uh, obviously seen that I've been running quite a bit recently, training for this event, and my last event, the Tough Mudder. Five, four, three, two, one. So I managed to do 43.5 miles, uh, getting muddy, trying to climb monkey bars. Well, I couldn't even climb the monkey bars, so my fists and my, my hands are still wrecked from rowing the uh, Atlantic Ocean, so I can't grab hold of anything. But it was fun. I came out there buzzing. I, well, I don't know how, I managed to come third in my age group. Don't ask me how, but hey, oh, I'll take it. It was good fun. And... Uh, Ever since I've been, well, I've been quite busy working actually. I haven't had sort of chance to taper down properly, but I'm looking forward to going on on this weekend. It starts at nine o'clock on Friday. Let's just see how far I go. I'm going to be doing it for the Dean Farm Trust. Uh, <clears throat> there's an animal, animal sanctuary in Chepstow. They do amazing work for the animals that they have. Stayed at the sanctuary and it's all um, operated by volunteers. So please, if you could, the link is in my bio and Instagram. And if you're looking at this on YouTube, the link will be down below. If you can donate as much or as little as possible, that would be much appreciated. Uh, and yeah, I mean, if over there, I've got all my, um, my fuel, my food, my meds and everything ready for it. Have a look at what I got. Only sort of, Sugary stuff I've got. I've got these. These are actually vegan. These gels from uh, gels, the jellies from m and I'll just use these to suck on. Just uh, as a little bit of a treat. Now here I've got fresh orange, fresh oranges, watermelon, strawberries, and blueberries. These are going to give me a lot of uh, natural sugars. Not just that, they'll be really fr refreshing as well when I feel like shit, oh my god, the feels like in a bit of a mess. Bananas! Massive, massive, massively helps 
from all the, 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 the endurance stuff and long distance events I've done in the past, there is nothing like a banana to pick you up. When you're feeling like shit, eat a banana. Toothbrush, just to brush my gob, because your gob starts feeling dirty and horrible after a while. Paracetamol, for obvious reasons, when I start getting a bit of pain. And some ibuprofen as well under there. Uh, help with swelling. Voltarol to rub on my hot spots. I get a hot spot on my back uh, and for anywhere else, which is a bit painful. Um, that's electrolytes there. I got beetroot, and I've been loaded up on beetroot for the last two days. Uh, turned your blood in with nitrous oxide in your blood and stuff. Honestly, trust me, it's really, really good. Uh, a lot of people don't like it, but I do. Compete. Now, if I do, I don't really suffer badly with blisters, but if I do, they're there, just in case. Gaviscon, uh, just in case you get a heartburn. Um, immune defense, uh, vitamin C, really important. Stick it in your, um, stick it in a drink. Diorolite, again, more salts. And magnesium oil, rub into my muscles when they're feeling a little bit like shit. Now, snack bars. I got these Mummy Megs. These are so good. So, uh, I got three of them. Cliff bars. Now, I got introduced to Cliff bars when I was on the uh, Atlantic Row. They are just absolutely delicious. And again, these are all, everything here is all vegan. They're really good. Uh, and these awesome protein bars which are really good as well i've got my jet boil so i can have a cup of tea or if we need any hot water for anything and of course there he is look the bad boy trusty fuel the fuel that i've got for this weekend and hopefully fingers crossed it will get me as far as i need to go before i chuck the towel in so let's go to run a competition see how many miles i can get on the backyard ultra this weekend and the winner will win one of my cookbooks. So stick it down below in the comments, uh, YouTube or Instagram, how many miles do you think I'm gonna get? And the winner, or the closest to what I get, will win a cookbook. If there's a lot of you who have got the same amount of mileage, then I'll put you all into a, a hat, jiggle it out, and I'll pick the winner out and we can claim who the winner is so happy days don't forget if you can donate to Dean Fam Trust that will be banging and don't forget to leave the mileage down below if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel please subscribe uh, share the love and uh, let's get running let's have a good weekend happy days to the pip